The title of today's video is The New York Knicks Won the 2024 NBA Draft. That's right, yesterday's Mikhail Bridges trade to the Knicks is, uh, I think, the best news that came out of this draft. I mean, uh, this draft in particular doesn't have a lot of surefire all-star potential coming out. So the fact that the Knicks were able to make news and get Mikhail Bridges and add him to the team, even though he's not an all-star, he is a top 50 player. Just a really good full court all around both sides of the ball player who gives you a ton of minutes, which is music to Tom Thibodeau's ears. He'll get to, you know, play alongside, hopefully, OG Ananobi if they can sign the free agent to a nice contract this summer. And those two guys might be the antidote to take out Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. You never know. Uh, just reuniting those Villanova players gives so much chemistry to this team. With Jalen Brunson, an all-NBA first-teamer, in my humble opinion, along with Dante DiVincenzo and Josh Hart, probably the most underrated player in basketball. Um, it's really going to be fun to watch those, those four guys, and Mikhail Bridges helps take them to another level. Um, so by that alone, even though they got, gave up a bunch of future first-round picks, most of those first-round picks will be non-lotteries. And I think in the long run, this has been a great move for New York, which makes this the best move of the 2024 NBA draft, I believe. Now, that being said, there are a couple players that I like in this draft, but most other people don't like them. They don't have them in the top five, at least. So I think this is when my selective drafting comes into play. Uh, those players are Donovan Klingon, who will probably go in picks between six and ten. So if you have a top three pick, that's the type of player that I would trade my top three pick away to get Klingon to a team that might have the fifth, sixth, or seventh pick in the draft to make sure I can get him. And if I didn't do that, the even bigger, bigger gamble that has a bigger upside is Zach Eady, who's projected to go outside the lottery. Might go 15, 16, 17, might go later. So if I can trade down and get a pick around the 12, 13, 14, 15 range uh, and get Zach Eady and then land future first round picks, then I would definitely trade a top three pick away to do that. Those are the two players I believe have all-star, all-potential. Um, Klingon's the type of defensive player I like because uh, the most valuable position on the court is the rim-protecting rim big man, and he can do that. So I think of him as more of a sure thing. Zach Eady is an interesting talent because the two things you need in a center, he doesn't provide. He's not a defensive rim-protector. And he's the one other exception you have for a center that you would want on your team is a playmaking center, someone who can create shots for his teammates, like an Akeem Olajuwon, Tim Duncan, etc. Um, and Zach Eady doesn't do that either. That being said, he did carry Purdue a long way. He did make their offense a lot better. He is an incredible talent. There are just some question marks. And the way NBA coaches coach nowadays, he might not be logging 24 minutes per game, but his upside is so high, you've got to take him. I understand people not wanting to take him with a top five pick, but he might end up being a top five talent when it's all said and done. So if I have a top three pick, top five pick, I'm trading to get Zach Eady, who you know, I'll trade for the 13, 14, 15 slot where I think he'll be available. Um, and then also land future first round picks. So that's my draft strategy going in. Those are the two guys I liked in selective drafting. The other guys, um, I'm not saying that Zach Rissache is a bad player. I think I think he's a good, decent player. Alex Saar is raw, but has potential. Um, all the other guys at the top of the at the top of the draft are good, fine, decent players. But I don't see all-star potential. And if I have a top three pick, that's what I want. So if I don't see it, I trade my pick away because that's selective drafting. Trade it to someone else who believes in that person more. And that way, it works for both teams. So, anyway, the Knicks won the draft. We'll see how the rest plays out tomorrow. Who gets uh, Zach Eady and Donovan Klingon will be the first and foremost things in my playbook. So, looking forward to that.